Hi guys, this is my book review for Staying at Daisy's by Jill Mansell. It is a British chiclet. It's just fun, basically. The main character, Daisy McLean, manages a hotel for her father who owns it. Her father, Hector, is this flamboyant character, a kind of easygoing chap who gets along with everybody. They have, can just like sit at the bar and like perfectly just flip from person. <laughs> um. So Hector is like the perfect host every night in the bar and just everybody has a good time. He likes to serenade people and get other people singing with him and is just a fun and quirky character. Daisy on the other hand is a bit more reserved. She is in charge of managing the hotel but so she's a bit more like everything needs to work. Not that she can't have fun but She's not like overly uptight, but still is very like, I need this to work kind of thing. Like, I need to have this hotel functioning. Like, I would like to keep my job for like 20 more years because I'm not about to retire sort of person. And Daisy's also, her husband dies at the beginning of this book. So her husband was kind of a complete and total jackass. Her husband cheated on her. He lied to her to get money from her and told her he had cancer when he didn't so that he could run off to America with his girlfriend. Which doesn't happen because he gets stuck in a car accident at the beginning of the book and ends up dying pretty quickly. So the rest of the book takes place about a year later and Daisy is just kind of sworn off men. Like, her husband was such a jerk that she has zero interest in being with any guy who's going to be even remotely like that. So understandably, she's on a man hiatus, basically. And she tries to convince her best friend, Tara, to do similarly. Tara is the kind of girl that men just gravitate towards for just having a good time. And she's always getting broken up with, and she doesn't quite understand why she can't keep a man long term. And Daisy's trying to convince her that maybe she needs a break and needs to, like, find herself. Because she's the kind of person who will, because Tara is the kind of person who will just say yes to whatever a guy wants just to please them without ever thinking about what she really likes. And there's also Tara's Aunt Maggie, who is the elderly spinster person who is sworn, appears to have sworn off men and is perfectly happy on her own and the strong independent woman except Maggie's kind of got her own little crush going on there with one of the men in town and is trying not to have her younger niece find out about it. So during the course of the book there is, or at the beginning of the book there is this big wedding that's going to happen at the hotel. The groom of the wedding is one of Tara's ex-boyfriends. Tara assures Daisy that nothing is going to happen, it's going to be fine, she's going to stab away, and there's not going to be a commotion or anything. Until Dominic finds out that Tara is working in the hotel. Dominic's the kind of sleaze bag who would cheat on his fiance the day of the wedding. And he convinces Tara that he's still madly in love with her, and they need to just talk about things before he makes his life-altering decision and, like, walks down the altar. And Tara tries to please him and goes off with him, and it causes a huge mess. So the relationship between Dominic and Tara becomes one of the major relationships of the book. And also we have Dominic's best man, Dev, who is this famous world-class uh, ex-rugby player. And... He decide, Dove decides that he's going to try to court Daisy, and Daisy's kind of not having it. And she thinks the only reason that Dove is trying so hard is because Daisy's the one girl he can't get. So there's just point after point of, like, fun antics in this book, and miscommunication is a major theme, and who do you trust, and making, like, what do you actually want in a relationship. One of the really fun antics in this book involves Maggie's washing machine that is just broken and the repair people keep coming out to fix it and how that situation plays out was just awesome and I loved it and it was funny. It's just a good quick read for just laughs and fun. So if that's what you're looking for, this is an awesome choice.
So yeah, there's my book review for Staying at Daisy's by Jill Menzel. Bye guys, and I love you.